I'm going to share with you how to create a nutcracker uh, and mimic the way you talk like uh 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 so yeah so let's start okay so basically what i do is to create a face tracker first and then to put two plane under it and the first plane you can see uh there are two planes one is the mouse uh, uh, uh. the second one is the the body yeah this is the second one so uh by overlaying those two layers i can make make it and then yeah so i create materials and textures and the script later on i will share with you how how the scripts works and then yeah so let's start okay so let's create a new one mm, new one okay so first let's uh, change change it to the face okay then second let's add a face trigger then let's add two plan yeah first one and second one first one is for uh, for the mouse and second one will be the um, the body okay so that's the the plan zero will be the uh, mouse and then uh, plan one will be the body okay so that's move around okay so maybe I just make it okay so let's move around so this is body okay so I do this I don't like squeeze it a little bit yeah so probably something like that yeah and this one is the mouth right so let's go here go here somewhere around like a one third top one third would be great yeah so maybe something like that yeah just approximate and later on you can kind of like adjust on your own okay so this is probably good okay so let's make this two under it so you see okay so maybe i can kind of move them a little closer and then maybe two of them i need to make it smaller a little bit yeah maybe make two of them smaller so you can see all of them okay so then we need to make um, materials to apply to them and then before I pretty much made uh, an AI file so I separate the mouth and the body so you can do that as well so basically let's do material first one we can do mouth second one we can do uh, the body okay so mouse so let's go here and you see like this is uh, I separate this one yeah so later on I will attach uh, shuttle stock uh, assets so mouse yeah, I separate those two so mouse will be mouse and then we apply mouse yeah the material and then we put to plane zero we here we add material right okay so this is the mouse okay then second we add body yeah this is like long body okay then let's do plane one and add materials body uh okay not yet, not yet. okay i i think that that, that might be fine yeah it's it's a little exaggerated but i think it's fine okay then let's do a script i know the script is always the scary part for everyone not everyone maybe for designer okay <laughs> for design okay so let's see what's the script okay i have to 
do the chishi. Yeah, just to make sure. Yeah, so, okay. So basically what I will do is to copy and paste. I think that's quicker for our demo. Yeah. Okay. So basically, uh, uh, I think in um, in Spark AR, um, it's it, it's 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 a little different from JavaScript, but there's a certain way you can um, see like the the logic. Okay. So constant, I would think constant is more like a, a variable. Yeah, like a C sharp, V A R var, or like a, a a a new object. So you just put whatever you first time introduce an object, you need to put a, a constant. That's how I proceed. Okay, so let's put constant animation because if you want to load any API, you need to put um, like a, a constant and you need to uh, get like a animation API and then you want like a face tracking API and you want a scene API, right? And then you want to get, okay, so constant plane, it means that uh, it's like a new variable and this variable you need to get from scene, the root, the fine plane zero, which is the mouse, right? Yeah, this mouse, okay, so this is the, uh, yeah, okay, so, eh, okay, oh, okay, because I, I attached the script, so basically everything works right now, but, uh, yeah, so this is the mouse, then, uh, s store a reference to a mouse, open a signal of a detective face, okay, so, face zero means the first person's face, if you put face one, there will be another person's face. So basically, if you go to face tracker, you can see face one and face two. You can see face two, yeah, later. But uh, if you add another face tracker, yeah, there's face two, right? But we only wanna track the first face. So, okay, good. Where is that? Okay, so. So, mouth openness equals face tracking dot face zero dot mouth dot openness. So, if you go to uh, uh, like the official website, you can see all the APIs. And then, uh, if you see like a face tracking, like the whole face tracking API, you can see like a mouth, eyebrows. Uh, happy, it, uh, yeah, it also can, I don't know, like learn whether you are happy, sad, or whatever emotions. So it's pretty cool. So you can um, put like the mouse openness under mouse openness, this variable. Then let's do mouse openness driver. So once, so we need to define the value. Cause like uh, uh, in the API, you can see like, a, um, for example, you can, you, you can adjust the value. For example, 0 0.5, right? It means like it, it will be really sensitive if you open a little bit of your mouth, it will start opening. Yeah, so it's like, if I switch to um, let's see, one, yeah, it's, it's, yeah, so you can totally change the parameter. So I think this is more exaggerated, it's fine. Okay, so we can see like, okay, so you put value, right? Oh, okay, so it's, <laughs> okay, I see claim between, okay. So maybe I, I, I put this. Yeah, you can totally see like, oh, I, I wanna see like how much, how big my mouth is and then the minimum and maximum. So basically I made the value which is really sensitive. As long as I open my mouth, this little not quicker, 
well start doing it so like start learning from my mouse okay then let's create a simpler with a linear change from one to two okay so basically this will start doing a linear change so and then let's create an animation combining the driver and sampler so basically whatever your mouse from zero uh, from 0 0.01 to 0 0.02 will change to this linear uh, parameter then this linear parameter well from my well kind of uh, change from my mouse to this x y like the 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 openness of the y yeah so yeah so linear simpler animation that simple that linear uh yeah uh 0 0.5 to 1 okay then let's do like a, another yeah so let's combine it right so this is how big your mouse from small to big then this is the number and then let's make this animation by combining this one this value which is those two to this value which is those two okay so by the scale animation single to the yx single of the plane okay so let's bind this uh, to the plane transfer scale y so basically oh uh, so all your value will transfer become the y axis of this plane zero yeah it's <laughs> it's a lot yeah so basically i kind of revised some parameters from the uh, official website of spark ar and then change a little bit and then start playing around so yeah and get get a sense of it okay so yeah and once you put a script and everything start working so yeah so that's how i made it it's fun okay so thank you for watching and see you next time bye bye